In this section, as we review Piaget's theories, we're going to look at seriation. And keep in mind that we have a definition of this that we're going to discuss in a minute. But one of the things that we see as children move into the, into the concrete operational uh, development phase is that they are capable, as they near the end of it, of complex seriation upon a number of variables. Let's uh, start out here, seriation and concrete operations. And of course, we're going to want to come in and look at a definition. Now, this definition of seriation states, and I'll read it to you, in Piaget's theory of cognitive development, now we're talking about intellectual development, the third stage is called the concrete operational stage. During this stage, which occurs from age 7 to 12. Now, before you read on just a minute, oh, it concretely it occurs between 7 and 12. Piaget would have a heart attack over that. What Piaget tells us is that, that these stages are not necessarily fixed at certain ages. Different children may enter into them at different times, but in most of the situations that run from age 7 to 12. The child shows increased use of logic or reasoning. One of the important process, processes that develop is that of seriation, which refers to the ability to sort objects or situations according to any characteristic, such as size, color, shape, or type. For example, the child would be able to look at his plate of mixed vegetables and eat everything except the Brussels sprouts. Well, what the child did is he looked at the plate, he rank ordered what was on that plate from what he liked the most down to what he liked the least, and then he didn't eat what he liked the least. Uh, now, there are different kinds of seriation, and we have uh, in the concrete operational uh, development, we have at least you know numerous types of seriation, but I want to share with you these three. Seriation of length, which is the ability to rank order objects according to length, and occurs, uh, length occurs somewhere around ages seven to eight. Seriation of weight occurs around age nine. Now, I, I laugh because a nine-year-old may come up to you and tell somebody like me, uh, you know, Papa, you're getting pretty fat. Uh, you're bigger than everybody else. And see, what, what they're not trying to insult you. They're just trying to enlighten you with wisdom. And then one of the more difficult is that of seriation of volume, uh, rank ordering objects by how much volume that they have. Just to share with you some example of this, let's look at seriation of length. And this is, Piaget broke this down into at least four or five levels. Now, level one occurs, say, in the ages where they're under four years of age, and you have uh, really no order when they're asked to take 10 little sticks that are differing lengths by maybe very, by slightly so by a quarter of an inch. They just rank them out. No idea what you're talking about. And then when they get to four or five, well, they'll rank them, but generally they'll only compare uh, two at a time, one to another. And here's a type of uh, ordered pairs that might have been developed by, say, a four or five-year-old. As they get a little older, in the years five to seven, they, they're able to do transitional thinking. Now, uh, some of you uh, may uh, be familiar with some of the algebraic uh, themes, you know, there's the reflexive property that A equals A and, and uh, all sorts of different things that develop with that. One of the properties that is, is really cool is, is the transitive property. And the transitive property says if A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. Now, see, I'm making you operate at a little higher level, am I not? So a child in this age would be able to say this one is long, uh, shorter than that one, that one's shorter than that one, so they can put three of them together. And then in the last stage, they move down into the accurate ordering of all of the sticks without having to do just one or two at a time. Children uh, move through seriation of length according to their age. Now, keep in mind, we have seriation of things like length, we have seriation of weight, and we have seriation of volume, just for example. The following video is very enjoyable as you watch a group of kids uh, hang in there to do a little seriation of the three billy goats in Billy Goats Gruff. Someone is going to be the builder, someone is going to be the drawer, and someone is going to be the drawer. I want you to build and draw the three billy goats. 
sides, or you can start. over the bridge, what was the order? Good. And Victoria, tell me what you drew. You drew the three goats, and what order did you put them in? And I love how you and Ryan matched them up. Can you work together again to match them up on the whiteboard, Ryan? Can you help Victoria put them on the right spots for me? I like how you match them up. Now, did you notice anything in regard to the seriation of size? These children took the three uh, three billy goats and they could recognize that there was a little one, a middle size one, and a big one. I don't know how many of you have ever told that story to little children, but they get so fascinated about the little goat that crossed the bridge and then the, come along to the big goat that crossed the bridge. Just fascinates them. What they're doing is dealing with the seriation according to volume or size. And I just wanted you to see and share that with you that you might have a little better understanding of what you're dealing with with these children. 